In this episode, we're going to have a look at Stripe donation pages, and this could be several different situations where maybe you don't have a Ruby on Rails application, maybe it's just a WordPress site, or maybe something else where you don't really have a backend server, you're just serving it off of a CDN. And with that, we can create a Stripe checkout page that does a certain kind of donation. And with this, you are able to change the donation amount with a set minimum and a with a set minimum and a maximum, and then you will be able to fill out the payment information and then do the donation. And alternatively, if there is a bit more that we want to do with this donation, maybe we want to create some kind of webhook to have the donation amount. Once the payment succeeds, come back into our web application so we can provide some kind of email confirmation or receipt. Or if we wanted to do something else, then we are able to leverage the Stripe Ruby gem and then we would be able to do a donation where it first goes through our Rails application and then sends us to a Stripe checkout page. From here, we would then be able to fill it out and then we would be able to make the payment. And so in this episode, we're going to have a look at both transaction ways where we won't need any kind of backend server and then also where we'll implement it on the Ruby side where it first goes through our web application and then it gets redirected to the Stripe checkout page. And I do prefer using Stripe Checkout opposed to the Stripe JavaScript API because that's a lot less that I have to worry about on my end as far as PCI compliance goes because I'm not handling the credit card in any way, shape, or form. Everything is getting entered in on Stripe's website. I don't have to worry about that aspect of security. And so just for the ease of implementing either one of these solutions and the security, that we have by using the Stripe checkout, which also supports other things like the 3D secure credit card authorizations. Personally, I find this to be just a much better solution. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the pro membership.